Meta just released their new AI glasses, the Meta Ray-Ban Display. It has this very new user experience to it where it has a new display inside the lens to see relevant UI. And it also comes with this new wristband as well that allows you to control the glasses through gestures. Now, this is obviously a really cool piece of new technology that Meta released, but Mark Zuckerberg is pushing a very interesting narrative on this. He's really claiming this to be a replacement for smartphones. All the marketing for these new glasses points to this, and even on their website, they specifically call out how you can check your messages, not your phone, or preview, frame, and capture all without pulling out your phone. But can it really be more intuitive than your smartphones that we have today? And more importantly, is there ever a world where AI glasses are the primary devices for people? Let's start with looking at what these glasses claim they can do. First is the in-lens display. It's a 600 by 600 pixel full color display. It sits into the right of the lens, and this will allow for things like showing messages, calling, maps, a music player, the display to take a photo, and also the UI for Meta AI to be shown. And based on these videos, it actually looks really well done. It doesn't look like it really obstructs a user's view that much, it's off to the side, and it has this transparent effect so that you can still see through it as well. And it does this so well that only you can see the display while wearing the glasses. So the other side looks completely normal, just like regular glasses, even on full brightness. This is perfect for three big features Meta announced. Live captions, translations, and agentic AI. When talking to another person, you can have captions shown on your display while you talk to them and follow along. And even if it's in a different language, it will live translate what they say into your language of choice for you to follow as well. And on top of this, you can activate Meta AI to ask it anything and you can see the response right on the lens. Now, it's important to note that this isn't augmented reality. The display doesn't adapt or change based on what's in front of you. It's purely just a static display on the lens. So that's a bit about the lens. Now let's look into this new Meta Neural Band. This stylish wristband is going to be the main way to control the Ray-Ban glasses in the form of gestures. What's happening is that the band has these sensors on the back of it, which uses EMG technology, basically just a way to measure your muscle signals. And this is how the glasses will interpret what gestures you're doing. So you would make very simple gestures like swiping, pinching, scrolling, and you can even twist to raise and lower the volume, just like you're twisting a volume knob. So those were its capabilities and features, but how do they actually perform in real life? Zuckerberg was actually brave enough to do a live demo of the Ray-Ban display at Meta Connect 2025, and it was good for the most part. He first started the event walking towards the stage and showing himself texting and interacting with the glasses, which seemed to be working well. He then presented the first feature, where he was discreetly writing with his hand on the table, and the neural band was recognizing and picking up the words he gestured out and sending them as messages, which worked great and looked quite natural as well. Unfortunately, the next thing to be presented was video calling on the glasses, but it failed to even pick up the call. I don't know what to tell you guys. All right. Um... Nonetheless, afterwards, they went into showcasing live captions and it looked like it was doing a good job. It picked up most, if not all of the words from Zuckerberg and displayed them quite closely to real time on the lens. And then finally, they showcased meta AI being used on the glasses. However, this part wasn't a live demo, but rather a highly edited video showing the features like meta AI answering questions, sending messages, and booking meetings. So I don't really know how well this will actually work in real life. But if it's anything like how the video depicted it would be, there's a good chance that the glasses are actually a more efficient way to use AI in the context of your everyday life compared to smartphones or apps. So now with everything that we've seen about these glasses, the question still remains, can these really replace our smartphones? This is basically how I view it. I do think that smart glasses will become the new smartphones in the sense that all the super simple and quick tasks will eventually be better done on the smart glasses, 
Just like how right now, all the simple tasks are done on smartphones and more of the complex tasks are still done on your laptops. Think about it like this. Look at how you use your smartphones compared to your laptops today. Whenever it's something that's easy to do or quick to do, you would do it on your phone. But when the task becomes more serious and takes more investment, you do it on your laptop. Take booking a flight for example. Rarely do people book flights on their phones. You usually always do it on your laptop because it's a bigger deal and there's more money at stake. I see the same thing happening with smart glasses, where the even more simpler tasks will be done on your smart glasses and the slightly more complex tasks will be done on your smartphones. For example, looking at a recipe while you cook. What you do right now is open your phone, leave it on the kitchen counter and follow the recipe that you saved. Imagine how much easier they would be if it's just right in front of you on your glasses without needing to constantly move from cooking to reading or even asking a question to AI. It would be so much faster to just ask the glasses and seeing the answer right in context rather than opening your phone constantly. I feel like these are the kinds of tasks that smart glasses will be so much better for. Now let's try to think of a world where everyone has these smart glasses on. I actually think this is quite a realistic future. If you think about how smartphones makes us interact in the real world, it's pretty similar. For phones, you're looking down, swiping and scrolling, and you always have this device in your pocket or your hand. With smart glasses, you're still doing all the same gestures as a phone, with the benefit that you're actually looking up instead of down, so you're still aware of your surroundings. You'd still be scrolling, swiping, rotating your hand, but you're doing these actions a bit more discreetly now. You don't even need to look down anymore. Smart glasses actually might be the way for humans to start interacting with each other more than smartphones has enabled us to. Now when we speak to each other, we're not looking down anymore, but we're face to face and we're using these features like live captions and translations to really focus on the interaction that we are having with the person in front of us. While what we saw today at MetaConnect is still very early versions of what the ideal state of smart glasses could be like, this is still a very promising look into what the future could be. You hear it from reviewers who've had it in their hands and tried it for a while, and even they are quite surprised at how good this is. And if this rate keeps up, Meta can actually create something that will at the very least be an addition to your everyday devices, and we will be living in a world where smart glasses will be the primary way that people will be handling their daily tasks.